leadership flashing with excellence. They shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people, making music for the people. They shine bright everywhere we go. They shine bright everywhere we go. Leadership impacting society with peace, love, and hope. Shining the light for America. The James A. Hendrick School of Leadership. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Jimmy here. Happy Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed Easter weekend. Um, had a lovely Easter weekend. I, I went to church Sunday morning. Um, well, started out Friday. Uh, we moved in my dad's chair. And now that's for the James A. Hendricks School Leadership. Guess what? This is the Golden EIP chair with a Golden EIP microphone. Anyway, I had a little Easter weekend. Uh, Sunday, I went over to my sister's house to see my mama. About an hour away from me in Midkiff, Texas. And now, I didn't show up on a bunch of candy. The main snacks I had was I had a chocolate cake and some vanilla wafers. You know, a lot of people, you know, they take up on like a marshmallow peeps and and stuff like that. I, I like to keep my Easter simple. If I was to have an Easter fair of candy, to be honest with you, it would either be the Reese's Eggs. Or if they could ever just bring them back, like you bring back our Christian heritage in America, the, the chocolate crosses. Mmm. I enjoyed that. Even though that was a hard Easter because of my divorce back in Easter 1999, I enjoyed the chocolate crosses. You need to bring them back. Now, here's the question of the day. And I have this so that we can cover the news and it be something we can do something about. But at the same time, you know, not let this be Jimmy Rant every time I had the news. And here's here's why. Because I'm tired of doing that. That's pathetic. Here's the question. Are Democrats dead in the water in 2024? And, and before you answer, you know, because I know so many people, and you know, listen to the other talking heads and commentators, I want to make you think. Here's the parameters. Number one, there's no yes, no answer. Like a toggle switch. There is no reactive, it depends. Okay, because I'm, I, for one, am tired of the assiduous, uh, acrimonious contention that is going on in politics today, okay? A agree to disagree. Number three, all goes down to this one equation. Needs times faith equals motivation. God, Jimmy, this, this Socratic method of looking at politics is, is lame. It's, it's dumb. You're being naive. I don't think so. Now, I'm going to find one, if you will, one new story to illustrate this. Okay. Here we go, I think. Oh, I hope. Here we go. This is the issue for the day. And fortunately, there's no sound clip. <laughs> Hmm. 
and, and I want this to be a fair piece of news. All right, now this is more. Um, here we go. No, man. I don't know why, but this morning I'm having trouble to be to find a good, proactive news story to illustrate what we're talking about. So I'm asking you to be patient. If we can't find one, then I'll just give you my perspective. Now, okay, here we go. This race could flip the U.S. Senate uh, red. West Virginia's uh, Jim Justice says it would be a big honor. Why don't you listen to this sound bite? Control of both the House and the Senate is at stake in the 2024 elections. A key Senate race is in West Virginia. Republican Governor Jim Justice is seeking to take retiring Democrat Joe Manchin's seat. The governor recently talked with CBN's Wendy Griffith about what it feels like to be the candidate who could flip the Senate. As his second term comes to an end, Governor Jim Justice talks about why his sights are set on becoming a U.S. senator, albeit reluctantly. Well, Wendy, I'd really surprise you. There's not a fiber in me that really wants to go to D.C., but when it really boils right down to it, uh, I do not think we're going the right way, and I truly, whether people believe us or not, my dad used to say all the time, son, if you know and a good Lord knows, that's all that really matters, and I do know. I'm a patriot. I truly am, and I really believe in this country, and I think we're going in a crazy way. With the 72-year-old Republican hoping to replace retiring Senator Joe Manchin, a Democrat, the West Virginia Senate race has high political stakes. Governor, how does it feel to be the guy that could possibly flip the United States Senate? Well, it's a big honor. I mean, that's all there's to it, and I'm well aware of that. And, uh, and at the end of the day, I am a proponent of flipping the Senate. I am an absolute active proponent of being a good, sound, solid conservative, and, and, and we need that. We need that really bad right now. The House... Who knows what's going to happen with the House? But we need to set it in our court. Former President Donald Trump has endorsed the governor, and latest polls show justice with a hefty lead. 57% against opponent, Republican Congressman Alex Mooney, with 20%. This gap despite numerous lawsuits to some of the governor's nearly 100 family-owned businesses. At the end of the day, you need to judge me by what I've done as being your governor. And surely to goodness, we make plenty of mistakes. But at the end of the day, at the, you know, when it all said and done, you're going to find our businesses are rock solid in what they do. Representative Mooney, in his fifth House term, maintains he is the true conservative in this race. Okay. We're going to shut this off. Now, no, many of you want to reach for the toggle switch, yes or no? <laughs> Because many of you, you listen to the news and maybe you want to keep the, the same recycled crap that's going on. I'm sorry. I don't. Okay. Part of the James Hendrick School of Leadership motto is back to normalcy and let's get this into the proactive we can do about. 
Okay, and a lot of the talking heads are complaining that some can, Republicans are walking away from Congress. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe some of these congressmen, they don't realize they got what it takes anymore? And has it ever occurred to any of us that maybe somewhat some form of a citizen legislature wouldn't hurt. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm for or against term limits. I'm not saying. But guys, come on. Listen to me. I am well damn aware that politics is a dirty game. But if we sink to a reactive level, oh, but... Uh, but the 2024 could be lost anyway. Or, or, or we're going to win no matter what. What does that say? It means that our union is in a sad state of affairs. It, it makes me sick. Guys, come on. We can do so much better than this. All right. I know you want to reach for it depends. Or I know you want to reach for the toggle switch. But I want you to think about this. Statistically. How many times has it ever been where it's one term uh, 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 there's a possibility of a one-term president, which I believe there it is. But is it possible for us to throw in this election without throwing out the baby with the bath water by not defining the variables? So with that, I hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. Please subscribe and become a part of this leadership. Till next time, I want you to keep up your faith. I want you to keep up your hope. I, I say this every day. I need to self soothe Jesus saves and I'm okay. So I want you to put this down in your soul right now. Okay, please. Jesus saves and we're all going to be okay. Take care and be proactively informed. God bless you. Remember this from the bottom of my heart. Jimmy loves you. I really love you. God bless you and have a blessed day.